Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So I decided I would do a face of the day today because I used some Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows, some of them today. Sorry, my camera looks funky. Um, and also I want to talk about a couple of hair products that I tried. Um, I tried one of them a couple of times and I really liked it and I tried another one today and I feel like it made a huge difference. So I thought I would just share. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Tuesday morning. It's like 6.20 in the morning. <laughs> um, and I have to get to work because we have um, presents to wrap and or presents to purchase today. We have the um, kids Christmas party um, that myself and a, and a friend of mine from work always um, run at work and that's on Friday so we've got lots going on with that plus I have to actually work at work um, so anyway face of the day today I used my um, a, a long day of, of um, meeting in, in uh, about an hour away from me tonight after work so a long day so I used my perfection Lumiere um, I did not set it with a powder today um, oh I dropped my or I put my blush away I used sorry <laughs> I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Exposed and Too Faced Bronzer. Yeah, nothing exciting really, am I? But what I used today for shadows, I thought I would show you, is the I put them in a in my Z palette. Um, I used the shadow in Glamorous all over my lid. As I drop it, um, I used. Cocoa Bear, and that was kind of that reddish one, and the crease. I softened out the crease with Purely Naked, and then just to deepen it up a little bit, I used that one in Mocha, like that. So I'm going to take these other ones out, and then I'll show them to you all together. That might be easier. All right, so hopefully this show in true to color. Glamorous I used all over the lid. This in the crease, this to soften out the crease, and then this to deepen the crease. And I really like it, you guys, they went on very well, they blended very well, I have no complaints, so we'll see how they wear. Um, and then I will probably, I'll stick an annotation um, somewhere around here to let you know how they wore, because I'll upload this later in the week. Um, but so far, I'm very, very, very um, happy, very, very happy um, with how they applied and everything, and the color and the payoff and all that. And then I used my Clarins mascara and a, my Steel a Smudge Stick. I've been using this a lot, um, and the Steel a Smudge the, the, the Smudge Stick. I got really close to the lash line, um, and then went about halfway on the bottom line. And then I used an angled brush to um, continue all the way in because that's pretty soft and you want to get too much color so to continue on the way in and then to really smudge into the lash line I used this. Okay so then the, the hair thing that I thought I would talk about is I don't know how many of you guys watch um, Tammy I think it's Uppies Beads something she's got some numbers at the end of her name she's always talking about hair oils and stuff um, and I these hair oils scare me. I mean, oily oils in your hair. I don't know. So anyway, um, I sh had shown you. Well, first I'll show you guys this. Lisa Lisa D one's been talking about this forever, and Love Gina from Love Peace and Lip Gloss too. This is that Rust um, smoothing conditioner. It's a smoothing leave-in conditioner, and I've had this ginormous bottle that I bought at TJ Maxx. It was normally twenty dollars. I got it for ten dollars. Um, and I, th it's been sitting under my counter forever. And I thought the other day, I was like, you know what? I'll try it. And it really, it really, if you guys can get this, it really makes your hair soft. And it didn't like make my curl not stay curled when I did my, um, like if it did my hair naturally curly. Um, so I did that. And then every time I've been pulling my hair like this, with I do this with a brown brush. Um, it just kind of the ends don't look very nice, and they don't curl under. But check this out. Are you kidding me? And the only thing different that I did this time, I mean, because I've been using this now for a little while, is the macadamia nut oil. I just put a little bit in my hands and then kind of scrunched it in the bottoms and then through the rest of the hair. And I don't know. I think it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with my hair today. Normally, I hate my hair. So, 
anyway, I just thought I would share those couple of things. Um, so far, I love the eyeshadows. Love the oil, one time use, I don't know. I don't know how I'll do it on a day two. I'll kind of let you guys know as it goes. But anyway, just thought I would share. I hope that you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, everybody. So I decided um, this morning that since... I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, I was going to use the Makeup Geek eyeshadows again today. I thought maybe I'll just use them the rest of the week. So today is Wednesday. Um, I'll try to do one tomorrow um, and Friday as well. And then I'll upload it this weekend sometime just kind of show you the different um, eye looks that I created with just the eight colors that came with the startup kit. So um, today on my face I used the Misha Perfect Cover in number 23. And then to set that and give a, just a little bit better finish, I use the Laura Mercier. This is the idea I stole from Lisa Lisa D1. The Laura Mercier in natural beige. And to apply that, I use my fingers for the um, BB cream. And I use the Sephora number 55 brush for the Laura Mercier. I use the Lorac um, blush in Soul Me. I love that. I did look the other day at Ulta, and you can buy this. It doesn't. You don't have to get it just in the close-up kit. But if you haven't bought the close-up kit, it's a very good value for all the things you get with it, and this isn't it. And I used my um, Sigma 168 brush with that. Um, I used the Instant Age Rewind under my eyes again. And Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Looks like... Okay, and I also realized that I didn't zoom you in yesterday to show you my eyes, so sorry about that. <laughs> kind of too late to go back. But I will say that um, they, those shadows wore really, really well. Um, they looked the same at the end of the day when I got home real, really late, actually, um, as they did in the beginning. So I was really happy about that. Um, let's see. Okay. Sorry, my phone rang there. Um, so I used today, again, I used the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow in Sandy Gold as a base. Um, and then I used Shimmer Shimmer all over my lid. I then put Unexpected in the crease. And then um, to deepen the crease, like kind of right in the crease and on the outside corner, I used Purple Rain. And I, I really like this color. It's just not super dark. It's not. It doesn't apply as dark as it looks in the pan. So I did take the teeniest, tiniest little bit <laughs> of Corrupt. Um, and I actually tapped it in there. I'll show you. Where's my brush? I went like this in it. Like that. And then I took my towel and I went like that. <laughs> my towel. And then I applied a little bit. And then I blended it out. Um, I used my MAC 239 for Shimma Shimma. I used a big fluffy um, 224 for Unexpected and just really give the crease some color. Um, I also put the Purple Rain under my under my eye with um, my 219 and I used the Makeup Geek, I think this is called the Rounded Crease Brush for the Purple Rain and then for the Corrupt. And for liner today, I used Max Prunella, which is, um, it's pretty dark, but it's got a purple hue to it, so I like that. And I also used a little, um, of Brulee, and on my Sigma E50 up, uh, for my highlight. Okay, so I, oh, and I used Clarins Mascara. And I will zoom you in. Yeah, it doesn't like that so much. Okay, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> so not a professional. So hopefully you can see. I really like how it looks. Um, hopefully it looks the same on both eyes. Aside from I probably have mascara on there. I didn't clean that up yet. Uh, okay, so that is my second look of the day. Um, hopefully this isn't going to be really long by the time I get through all my days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't show you my whole face next time. Okay, hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. Okay, day three, and I think this will actually be my final day. I think I'm going to try to upload this tonight. Um, 
just so that it's been a couple days since I had a video. Um, so anyway, today I am not going to tell you what I did on my face because it's going to make this whole combined video way too long. So um, the foundation though is Chanel Perfection Le Mer. The rest of it is nothing too exciting. So today I used, um, I did use the same Bobbi Brown um, Long Wear Cream Shadow as my base. I used, um, and I'll show you the brushes too to kind of show you I was going for a different ap different application of the same color. Um, so I used Shimmer Shimmer all over my lid and I used, this is a, my Smashbox, um, my Smashbox doesn't have it, oh it's a number seven. And so it's a little bit fluffier lay down brush than uh, 239, this is a 239. Um, so it's a little bit fluffier. And I like that because it doesn't, it gives the color but more of a wash versus the entire lid coated <laughs> color. So anyway, I used Shimmer Shimmer with that. Um, I was kind of going for a, I mean, not kind of a pinup look, but not really, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not a pinup girl. <laughs> but that's kind of the, kind of more of a basic eye with the black eyeliner today is what I was going for. So I did that, and then I took on, um, this is a Sony Kashuk brush. It does not have a name on it, but it looks like this. It's more of a tapered, um, that's a 224, so that's the kind of size that it is. And I, I took that with Purely Naked, just this one, um, right into the crease, up to just below the brow bone. The only color I used today, and I think I used it yesterday, maybe didn't mention it, that wasn't from the Makeup Geek Shadows is I used Brulee um, as my highlight. So Purely Naked in the crease, and then I used this um, this is a brush from NYX, and I like this brush. It's kind of like a 226 from MAC. Um, I like it because it's real pointed and smaller, and it can get right in there if you're trying to deepen up the crease. And that's what I did, and I used Mocha to do that. And then I used my Black Track Fluid Line, and I used my Sigma E10, which is a little bit smaller than like the MAC 109. Oh, and I put my highlight on with my Sigma E50. And that is everything. So I'll zoom in. Hopefully it doesn't look like a disaster. I didn't look, it up, look at it up close. And I just do a little bitty wing because um, my eyes are not made for a full-on wing. And then on my lips, yesterday I forgot, I used Cream Cup yesterday on my lips, and today I used the, I'm kind of scared of full-on red lipstick, <laughs> but I used the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. I kind of dabbed it on and then used my finger kind of to blend it in, so it gave more of a red stain than a full-on red lip. Um, so there you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, the um, kind of three, way, three different looks with um, the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I'm really enjoying them. They, are wear, they wear really, really well. Um, I, I don't have a single complaint ab about them, which is rare. Usually I can find something that I don't like, but I'm, I really like them. I'm very impressed with them. And like I said, they wear really well. Oh, I did want to mention this that I have them in, um, that I had this, they don't come with this. They just come as the, the shadows in the pan, kind of like, or in the package, kind of like I showed you guys before. Um, I just put it in this because I happened to have one in my drawer. And actually when Marlena was showing them um, on her site, when she kind of showed the starter kit, she had them in a palette like this as well. So I just want to make sure nobody thinks that you get this palette with it. But it is $45 for all of those eight shadows. Um, great value in my opinion. Those That would cost you close to $100 if you were buying MAC shadows. For that. No, that's a lie, yeah? No, that's true. <laughs> It's early for math, you know. Okay, I will let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.